Yes, what a surprise. It's uh, Christmas 2015. I was just coming back from uh, travel to Thailand, Laos. I was uh, four weeks away and I thought uh, on Terea Penny, my cocoons, they can stay there till spring and then I take them out from the cool uh, beetle garage to a warmer room where they can uh, come out of the cocoons, mate and lay their eggs. Now, what do you think what happened when I came back from my travel and went into the beetle garage? I will show you what I found. This here are the, the cocoons of Ontario Penny. And look what happened here. This one is open. This one is not yet open. You feel it from the... This one is not yet open. This one is not yet open. This also not. They are all... Okay, but three others here. Also from my own breeding. One. Two. And three. They came all out of their of the pupas and what did they do? That's what I found out when I looked at the at the containers where they are in look what what is here. These are the eggs. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, fourteen eggs on this side. And I found it on other cages the same. Look like here. You see that? Another ten or more of them. And also there is a, a third and fourth cage uh, with a lot of these eggs of Ontario Penny. So I think, look here, it could be that they, that they are fertilized. So if we are, uh, we are in a complicated situation anyway, because in uh, January there is no oak tree. Uh, with green leaves around here, so I have to think what I'm doing. I also have a plan. I will uh, order a Quercus ilex, that's a Mediterranean species of uh, oak, evergreen oak, um, from a shop where, they, where you can buy trees. And then I will try to bring them out of their sleep in the eggs, and let's hope that we also uh, can save them into the next uh, spring uh, when the oaks uh, start growing in at our place. Otherwise, we we lose four four nice um, butterflies. I wonder where they are. I didn't find them in the in the beetle garage, so I have to go deeper into looking at them. But here you can also see this is the hole where the butterfly came out and um, it's a really massive thing a cocoon of Ontario Perni it's really a good um, a stable construction with a big hole you can imagine also that the butterfly, the moth is pretty big also with this one here the same that's also important to see how it is very, very well fixed to this. Uh, this is the opening here, and now here you see how it is fixed to that little branch here of the dried out oak. So where it's gone, I don't know it. What I do, and I will collect all the eggs, put them into one of these little plastic containers and leave them in this cooler room. So temperatures here are probably so around 5 to 10 degrees. I hope it doesn't kill the eggs and uh, but it will they will wait a little longer to hatch now when it's a bit cooler. It's interesting to know that in December here in Switzerland it was uh, sometimes like a spr beginning of spring with uh, warm temperatures, um, yeah, could be that this was one of the reasons why they suddenly came out of their cocoons while the others are still waiting for next spring. 
So uh, that's about the egg laying process of Ontario Penny in the middle of December in temperatures that now are again around 5 degrees. I really wonder how they managed to come out and if it really happened I wonder how they made it in this uh, uh, climate because that's uh, I think a little bit too cold for Ontario Penny. But we will see what happens and you are part of this experiment. Thanks for watching.